YouTube, my name is WobbuffFest699, welcome back to another video. Now for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Sonic the Hedgehog Collection 2022 edition. Now, it has, it has gotten way bigger since the last time I showed you guys. I think last video was packed in the summer of 2020. I had about four games for the Genesis, a game on a PS2, three, the DVDs, but it's gotten way bigger. I got more games, spin-offs, and the DVDs from the shows from the Sega Genesis, uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, uh, Switch, and the DVDs and some DVDs and some shows. And so I'm going to show you guys... My collection of Sonic the Hedgehog like I said, I'm a huge fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, many of you guys know I loved I love every, I love mostly every game. I love the shows, I love the movies, it's just very awesome. Now I don't have the games for the Master Systems or the Dreamcast. I do have the Dreamcast with the games for Sonic Adventure and all that are really expensive on eBay. So hopefully one day my local game store will have a Sonic game on the Dreamcast and I'll buy it up cheaply. So but anyway, I'm gonna start so basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys the video games first and work my way to the shows and the movies. So basically, hope you guys enjoy. So for this we're going to start off with the very game that started it all, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, released for the Sega Genesis in 1991. Now, I do have the Sega Genesis, and this is the first game I got for the Sega Genesis. My parents got it for me for my 21st birthday last year. Uh, they got the Sega Genesis for about 35 bucks, and they got Sonic the Hedgehog in case for about $8. And that's really cool. Like I said, this is the first Sonic the Hedgehog game, the first game that started it all, released in 1991. You got the front, the spine. And the bag, like I said, released in 1991, and we got the cartridge right here. It's been a while since I've seen the cartridge for playing it, so let's take a look at the cartridge. And there's the cartridge for Sonic the Hedgehog, like I said. I'd mo I know mostly everybody who likes this game. I know there's maybe one person I saw on YouTube who did not like the first Sonic the Hedgehog game. But anyway, that's the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, mostly everybody said this is a really pop one of their favorite Sonic games and some favorite games of all time. Of course, I'm talking about the sequel, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I can agree, this is probably one of my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog games. I can understand why everybody likes and it, says it's their favorite game. I know a couple of you people on YouTube said this is their favorite Sega Genesis game, favorite Sonic game, and even some of their favorite games of all time. This was released in 1992. It has the first has a debut of Tells. And I do definitely like this game a lot. It's really fun to play. I actually got this, I think, a couple of days before my 21st birthday. So I've had it for a while. So I got the front, uh, Spy, and the back. This was released in 1992, a year before, a year after the um, say after Sonic was first released. And it comes with the booklet. It comes with the booklet and all that. And so, and then of course we got the cartridge to go with it as well. And there's the cartridge for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite favorite Sonic games, but this is definitely my favorite game to play on the uh, Sega Sega Genesis for sure. But that is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Next up, we got another. We got the sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 1 and 2, and of course we got Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now I actually got this at my local game store a couple of times. One time I bought it without the cut, without the case, and the game didn't work, so I had to go get a refund. I uh, get a refund or get store credit. But they had it again, and they had the case, so I said, "Hey, if this is the different cartridge and all that, I'm gonna get the game." So I bought it, put it in my Sega Genesis, and it does work. This was released in 1994. Three or four. I know they had Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and Sega CD came out before 3, but this is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is the debut of Knuckles, who was a, a creation of Dr. Eggman. I think you got the front, you got the spine, and the back. It was released in, I believe, 1994. Yeah, 1994. And you got the cartridge for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now, I know many people that have been selling this game online for a tremendous amount of money on those stupid fucking scouts. But I got this at my local game store for 20 bucks, and I said I can't pass this up. So that is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Next up, we got a game that I got pretty spent on, but I've had it for over a year and a half, and I have not opened it yet. Of course, I'm talking about Sonic and Knuckles. This was released in 1994, the same year as Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I've had this for about a year. This game cost me about $45 in my local game store, way cheaper than many places on the, um on eBay. Like I said, I have not opened it yet. I don't think I am going to open it yet. Open it at all. I'm kind of, I've had it for a long time and I'm probably not going to open it, but you got the front. I uh, got the spine, the other spine in the back, and this has the portraits where you can put Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and 2 in. So this is Sonic and Knuckles. The uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Next up we got a spin-off game called Sonic Spinball. This is kind of a pinball game. Uh, like I said, it's pinball. Sonic Spinball. This was released in 1993. Uh, so this is Sonic Spinball. You got the front, uh, spine, and the back. And this is a pinball game, obviously. It's called Sonic Spinball. And here's the cartridge for Sonic Spinball. So I played this a couple times. It's kind of frustrating, but I, it's fine. So I do like this. So that is Sonic Spinball. Next up we got is a uh, kind of not not licensed by Sega, but it's, I've seen many people on it. I'm glad I have a copy. And of course, I'm talking about Sonic.exe or Evil Sonic for the Sega Genesis. Now, I got this off of eBay last year for 50 bucks. And I was kind of nervous because I thought it wasn't real, but it is real. He's got the Evil Sonic on there. This was, I don't know when this was released, but this is an Evil Sonic. Home, uh, I don't know. I've seen Cinemassacres on James McMahon. They played this game, so here's the front. 
you got the spine, which is the logo of his backwards, and you got the back, and of course you got the cartridge, which is really shiny and all that. So there's Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Evil Sonic, or Sonic the EXE, whatever you want to call it. I played it. It is scary and fun. I had fun playing it. So that is uh, Evil Sonic. And I think those are all the games I have for my uh, Sega Genesis. So we're going to move on to the games I have for the PlayStation. Well, actually, the only game I have for the PlayStation 2 is Sonic. I had Sonic Heroes, but I have no idea what happened to it. So, the game I got for Son uh, for the PlayStation 2 is the spin-off game called Sa uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog, released in 2005. This was released in, uh, in uh, Play on PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. And I have played this a couple times. It is okay, but it's a really frustrating dude. It did not have good reception uh, uh, reception when it first came out or lately. But I, I, did, I guess I got a cult following, so that is... Uh, shout out the hedgehog. Now we're gonna move on to the PlayStation 3 games. First up, we have another game that didn't do very well, but I can understand why. Of course, I'm talking about Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic 06. This was released for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2006, and this is the pretty cool. I mean, this is the 15th anniversary edition. This is an updated version of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, but this didn't get positive feedback as well. I got it from my local game store for $12.99. So here's the front, got the spine and the back. Got my receipt in there. I don't need to take that back. The game works. You got the booklet and the disc to go with it too. It looks exactly like the Xbox 360 cover. So I played it a couple times with my brother. It's, it's frustrating, but it's fun. So that is the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic, or Sonic 06. Next up we got is another PlayStation 3 game. I had this on the PS2, but they didn't work on the PS2, so I ended up buying it for um, my PlayStation 3. And of course, I'm talking about Sonic o Unleashed. This was released in 2007. Maybe I'm looking to this. 2007, yeah, 2007. Basically, this game where you play as Sonic, he turns into a werewolf or something, a werehog or something. You got the front, up the spine, and the back. And I think, yeah, there's the booklet that go with it. There's uh, the booklet, and on the back says Sonic Sonic 4 or something like that. And you got the disc right there to go with it. So that is Sonic Unleashed. Okay, next game we got is probably my favorite racing game. I've done a Let's Play series on this on my channel, and I absolutely love it. This is probably my favorite racing game. I've ever played of all time and of course I'm talking about Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. I played this game when it first came out in 2010. I bought it again a couple of times and I absolutely love this game. This is probably, my, this is probably if not my favorite racing game of all time. A lot better than Mario Kart and all that. Uh, like I said, this is a game with uh, Sonic and Sega uh, games from Sega like uh, uh, Super Monkey Ball, uh, Jet Set Radio, Shenmue, uh, um, Samba de Amigo, and a couple of other games like Billy the Hatcher and the Giant A, many games you can think of from Sega. So here's the release in 2010. I got this about three, uh, two and a half years ago. So here's the front, got the spine and the back, and of course you got the booklet to go with it, and you got the disc to go with it. the game. Still works really well. I got a brand new off of eBay for 20 bucks. And I said I wanted this game. So here's Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Next up we got the sequel. Where to go? Next up we got the sequel for it. Uh, Sonic like and Sega All Stars Racing. Of course, I'm talking about Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform. Now, I've thought about doing a Let's Play series on this channel about it, but my brother does not like this game. I can understand why. It does seem a little bit <coughs> does seem upset, upset, upsetting, and confusing at first. But it is fun once you get to play with him. For some reason, Record Ralph's in it. He's a Disney character, so no telling why he's in this game. So you got the front, got the spine, and the back. And my parents got this on the garage sale site on Facebook for about eight bucks. So here's the booklet. There's the booklet and there's the disc to go with it. And it's a fun game. And then of course, I'm t and there is Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform. And I do believe that's all the games I got from the PS3. Now we're going to move on to the Nintendo Switch games. First up, I'm going to show you this one. This was actually released on Wii, and I didn't notice it until a couple of days ago. Of course, I'm talking about Sonic Colors. Now this is this was first released on the Wii in 2008 or 2007, and this is the updated version called Sonic Colors Unlimited for the Nintendo Switch. I have not played it yet, but it's the first game I've got on my Nintendo Switch when I got it. So here's the front. Uh, the spine and the back, and you got the little big cartridge right in there. So that is Sonic Colors Ultimate. Next up, you got probably one of the best games that released in modern era, uh, modern era Sonic. Of course, we're talking about Sonic Mania, released in 2017. I played this game for the first time a couple of weeks ago, and it's absolutely fun. It feels like nostalgia coming back. I absolutely love it. So we got the front, spine, and the back. And there's the digital code or something like that. But there's the cartridge down there. Like I said, very, very fun game. A lot of nostalgia for everybody. And that is Sonic and Sonic Mania. Next up, probably got one of my other favorite racing games of all time. Of course, I'm talking about Team Sonic Racing. I did have this for the PS4 version, but I ended up giving it to my brother and he ended up selling it uh, for credit. And so this is the Nintendo Switch version. You got the front, spine, and the back. And this was released in uh, 2019, the year that um, 
Sonic the Hedgehog the movie was supposed to come out, but they got pushed back to February 14th, and the only re and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 should be released in a couple of months. So there's the cartridge, and that is Team Sonic Racing. And I do believe that is all the games I have right now. Let me double check. I think that's all of them I have. I believe so. Now we're going to move on to the DVDs. First up, we have the DVD of the really first, the very first Sonic TV series. Of course, we're talking about the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is the only Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog DVD I had. I saw the review of Nostalgia Critic reviewing it, and he did not like this like this shell. But here's the front. You got the spine and the back. And, of course, you got the DVD of Sonic 2. And next up, we have is a few DVDs. I thought I had more than that, but I guess I didn't. So we got three DVDs of Sonic the Hedgehog sat Saturday morning. And the first one we got is Sonic uh, Freedom Fighters Unite. Uh, the Fight for the Freedom and Sonic Forever. So we got the... I'll show this real quick. Got the disc right there. We got... The other disc right there. And we got the other disc right there with Mario for some reason on it. So there's the DVDs for Sonic... Saturday morning. Yeah, now moving on to another series called Sonic Boom. And I got a few more. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the DVD. I got more Sonic Boom. First one I got is Here Comes the Boom. Uh, go Team Go team Sonic. And Robot Uprising. Robot Uprising. Now, I have seen many episodes on this uh, show. Uh, my brother used to watch it every morning before he went to school on Cartoon Network. And I checked it out again. And I definitely, it's an okay show, I definitely like it. If I had to choose a favorite character on this show, it would probably have to be Styx. I don't know what about Styx, but she's pretty hilarious. Hilarious, and she says a bunch of random lines on the show for some reason. And she's also the same voice for uh, uh, Luna Lada and Lada, so that's pretty cool. So there is the Sonic Boom, here comes the Boom, Robot Uprising, and Go Team Sonic. I think that's all of the DVDs. Last thing I have, of course, is the 2020 film, Sonic the Hedgehog. This is my favorite movie of 2020. Of 2020, it's got uh, Ben Schwartz as Sonic, uh, James Marsden as Tom, and of course the freaking amazing Jim Carrey of uh, of Doctor Robotnik and Sonic 2 is going to be coming out in April of this year, April 8, 2020. I'm definitely going to go see that movie the day it comes out. Uh, from what I, from back then, before they announced the cast, it was rumored that Jason Momoa was, was they wanted Paramount wanted Jason Momoa to play. Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, not Sonic, Knuckles, but unfortunately that did not happen, so it interested Bella from, I think Captain America or Thor, one of those two, but he was from an Adventures movie, and he sounded badass in the trailer when you saw it, my reaction, so we got the Blu-ray edition, got the slipcover front, spine, and the digital code, along, where'd the comic book go, I don't know, we got Team Sonic Racing, Sonic Forces, and a lot of other things, you got the rigid low Blu-ray and all that, so that is Sonic the Hedgehog 2020, and I do believe that is my entire Sonic Hedgehog collection. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite Sonic game, your favorite Sonic show, or favorite Sonic episode from any show. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you read a thumbs up, comment, subscribe down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching, and I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.